Okay, guys, I'm coming up, kind of starting in the middle of this video, all right? Now, I did a review of this item right here, Van Top Mirror. I have installed in my Super Duty. I do like it. It does have, sometimes it, it's not perfect. It does crash a, a couple of times. If it does, you have to hit that reset button to get it back online. Other than that, it's been fine. The one thing I don't really like about it is these hooks and you know what i'm talking about if you have it you have these cook hooks that that you have to use the rubber strap to go over your existing mirror i really hate that design because this isn't it's not as steady it's always shaking you really don't get an, a good view when you want to use it as a normal mirror because the vibration so one of my viewers sent me a text or email i don't remember but turn me on to these backings here that you can retrofit the fit behind this so you will have its own stand locking mechanism so it'll go here so everything be nice and steady it'll do away with the rubber straps when i saw that i said cool that's what i need to get so i ordered one before it didn't fit all right it was for a different design and i thought it would they have another design again i thought it would fit but it doesn't it's, it's totally off on its connection from here to here it's, now i've been researching and that's there's not many companies out there making these things actually I only found two <laughs> and they don't make it for this size i saw another channel another guy on a forum who ended up hacking this or maybe it was on amazon i, I don't recall but he had to modify he pretty much had sew it down and modify it for it to work so that's what i'm attempting to do with mine also because i really want to have the independent backing for this i'm gonna show you guys how i'm doing it i don't know if it's gonna work or not <laughs> to tell you the truth it's not really straightforward i'm making this up as i go but i'm jam i am gonna document it so if it does work you can see it all right and maybe you can follow along and hopefully it'll work for you if you're in the same dilemma with this van top. Let's just get it done, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on time lapse. And I'll stop as I go for each step to explain what I'm doing. So let's just keep it moving. Okay guys, uh, let me show you what I'm doing. All right, the idea is to keep this side intact using my screws, existing screws, to screw these part in so it'll be secure. The next thing I'm gonna have to modify this side. And as you can see right here, I have the resisting, the old piece, plastic piece you have to use. I'm gonna keep that in place. This part here, I'm gonna cut out with my drumming right here. So this part will come down and fit on top of that. Okay, um, change of plans. Like you see, I did shave it off. Unfortunately, it's not lining up like I want it. This side, again, I'm trying to leave intact. This side I'm modifying, as you can see, I still got a gap. So I'm gonna have to pretty much take this whole thing off here, up to here, pretty much half of it off, so it, it can rest on top of that. I think what I'm gonna end up doing now since that'll be lined up there, I'm thinking about just shaving this off and getting some glue and gluing this part onto here. So I'll make that, keep it nice and tight that way. Then once it's glued and secure, I'll come back and open up a hole so I can get to the screw if I ever need to take it off. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Just make sure I get my measurements from here to here so I can 
pretty much estimate where that hole I have to make when I when I come with a, uh, a little drill bit to open it up to reveal the screw underneath it. So I think that's how I'm going I'm to play this out. So let me keep it moving. All right. And again, this is all plastic. So having a drumming tool with a nice uh, sand disc will take this off in no problem. And just be careful and just try to keep it as flat as possible. And I'll build it up from there. So let's keep it moving. Okay guys, this is what I have come up with in trying to modify this bracket. I end up picking up some, was it JB Weld? All right, this is a two-part um, glue, pr pretty much. And I decided to go with a two-part because usually these are much stronger than your typical crazy glue. Because again, I want this to be bonded to these pieces right here and don't move and i don't want it to move all right so this is going to be permanent all right once it gets on there i took the screws off once i'm gonna apply this glue to this then i'm gonna set this on top i'm gonna put some back here also and i'm just gonna sit it on top of here and let it dry once it's dry being i took the screws off i'm able to lift this up and this should now be attached to this and then i what i'll do then i'll come back and drill some holes from the opposite side to figure out where my screws are so I can go that direction. So that's my plan. I'm hoping this works because I done jacked this up. <laughs> so, so let's hope this works. Let's cross our fingers and see if I can get this to work properly. Before I do this, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna clean these two parts here first real good. So I uh, still got some old glue on it so let me go clean this off put this back on here then try apply this so stay with me guys i hope this is gonna work out because if it works out for me it'll work out for you okay guys i got it glued in as you can see i got a little weight on it I'm trying to wait for it set all right so um if you're gonna use this two-part make sure as you can see i got glue all over the place I didn't realize how fast this thing comes out. Have something, when you put it on there, you can just put it to the side because it's gonna get everywhere. So be careful with that, watch your mirrors. And that's that. So right now I just gotta let it set and hopefully this will work. So let me, I'll come back to it on the next step. Okay guys, let me uh, update you what I'm doing. As you see, I got it glued in. Now I'm making a hole. What I did is simply glued it first. Then from the bottom, I took my smallest bit and went through here to get my point where I'm supposed to be coming out of. Now, when you do this, you're gonna have glue probably all in this. So you're gonna have to clean this out. I'm making careful, I'm being careful not to widen this hole because again, I want my existing screws to fit right on top of that when it locks into the backing of this. So be careful, all right? Now, so I'm just starting with my smaller one and ever first, once I get my pilot hole, then I'll come back with this one, make this a little bigger. But again, I'm not going, I'm only going that much, all right? I'm not going to the point to this hole. I'm staying above that, all right? I'm just wanting to widen the top piece for the screw that has to go in here, for this screw. All right, so I'm taking my time, widening it and widening it. It's still not wide enough for the screw to slip in. So I'm gonna use my drumming and I have another bit that I'm just gonna clear this out just enough for that screw to slip in so I can attach it to here, all right? So that's what I'm doing. Taking my time, it's coming out slowly but surely. All right, so this is what you're gonna have to do if you want to get this bracket to fit on this thing. You're gonna have to hack it, all right? 
So I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna put on a time lapse and keep it moving. Alright guys, here he goes. As you can see, I got it I got it screwed in. As you can see, I'm glued on to the piece here and the piece here. It's pretty good. Alright. Again, take your time opening that hole to get that screw in there. And that should be it. Alright. Just glue. Again, I, I suggest get a two-part glue. So it'll adhere to it real nice. What I'll do, I'll probably tap it off again with another bead at the edge, just to make sure it's, it's gonna hold. And that's it, all right? That's done. I'm gonna let it sit here overnight before I install it, just to, to cure. I think this is gonna work. And when you use this glue, all right, I got one that set up real quickly. I kinda wish I would've got something that would give me a little more playing time with it maybe because now this is sealed up and I can't use it again. So I gotta get rid of this and seal it up. So keep that in mind. When you get the quick dry one, you don't, ha you don't have a lot of time to set it up. Let me get this attached, the other part, and we'll go over, give you a quick overview of everything, how I did it, all right? And then we'll, I'll pick it up and show you how it's installed in, in the vehicle, how, how it looks in the vehicle, I should say. this is the final project and as you can see it came out pretty good I'm very surprised how well it came out all right so the trick is again identify left or right which one you want to modify and as you can see by gluing it to the piece itself everything's aligned secured using existing screws guys this is a very easy hack to do you just need to take your time especially when drilling on the top, as I'm showing you right now. Very easy to do, very secure, much better than the rubber straps. I'm holding up, no wobble. I'm very pleased on this setup. So guys, if this was helpful, you have any questions, any comments, please hit me below. Check out the affiliate links below, and I'll check you out on the next one. Later.